worship you this morning. Your name is excellent above all the names. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Greetings, Bazalwani, the mighty and precious name of my Savior, my Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord Hamodimo, for yet another opportunity to come and speak the word of the living God. Let's take our Bibles and open up in the book of Hebrews. Bukayaba Heberu Kaolo Kianta chapter 1 from verse 1 to verse 3. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. I'm glad that uh, my wife's uncle is here with us. Hebrews chapter 1 from verse 1 to verse 3 before we can read let's declare the vision of our church we want to go we as Rock of Salvation Community Church we exist to bring the unchurched to the knowledge of the only true God and raise them as faithful Stewards. Hebrews chapter 1, Rabala, verse 1, verse 3. Let's read. One, two, go. Hebrews chapter 1, from verse 1 to verse 3. Hebrews chapter 1, from verse 1 to God, who at various times and in various ways spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets. Hebrews chapter 1, God, who at various times and in various ways spoke in time past to the fathers by the prophets. Verse 2. Verse 3. Verse 4. Praise the Lord. Let's just pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we're praying this morning. Lord, as, even as we are starting the second service, may you continue to speak out to our lives. May you bring about change in our lives, change that is lasting in the mighty name of Jesus. In our lives, may you take us from one level of glory to another as we experience the liberty that you bring by the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we vow to give you the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We may be seated. Kalina ki namruti basima ne wakama tlaku. Kumusima no tuang. Rekan na hati. Papa rekan na mofati. Hankut. Kimusima no tuango evatol, koval. Hakemo tuwa suwe tuwa tu. Kimo tuwa kobo rakwali. Now we're going to look at a few definitions that emanate from the title of our message, which is actually the theme of our church for this year, Rock of Salvation Community Church. Haribu hika di theme ita ba ta di kerge zedi. Haribu hika ta kerge ena. Amen, Basalwan. We'd like to thank God who spoke to our apostolic father to ask me to come and speak the word of God this morning. And we also would like to thank the Reverend Deborah Mlauti Wasnaluna who have allowed me to come and speak the word of God. This pulpit is not mine, Kia Apostle Deborah Joseph Mlauti. 
Amen basalwane. Ki adimilo yaka kintsi yana. Amen. Amen basalwane. Wa since covid ifitla basalwane ha ba sa tlhola ba re amen. Re se re khotsa ga lang ba tsutswe ki covid. No ya fita covid. Mudimo wa rona is greater than covid. Hallelujah. Okay, as you have the definition system, Malwa, we are looking at the first word, being. This word c- comes from the verb be, the verb to be, be. Now, remember the be aspect of it, it means to belong to the class of. We know, even in our society, there are classes. Uh, the lower class, but to the lower class, not the middle class, upper class, just like that. Now, more related into Samoa, the second one to have an objective to take place or to occur. Now, the word being is denotes the present continuous tense. It's something that is continuing. We are saved and we are being saved and we'll come to the conclusion of our salvation. So the word being is in the present continuous tense. But show about the second word which is transform. Basically the word transform means to change in form or composition. To change the outward form or appearance of something. To change in character or condition. You know, most people banal the gifts. They have gifts of the Holy Spirit. But you look at the character. Zero. It is character that, that maintains our lives. Now, an example of transformation in, in nature. Rebona kasi ruru beli. Kasi kwa bariki butterfly. Si ruru beli si bela mai. It lays eggs. When you look at the eggs, there's nothing to write home about eggs. However, there's potential in the egg. And the potential is that this egg could become a fully fledged butterfly. And we know how beautiful the, the butterfly looks like. Di pofatsa tendina le mebala, di patafla di akhabisa, u di bona di le mo mo di chesheng fale, you know, upon the flowers doing their work, di akhatlisa. The first thing it is an egg. From the egg we have the lava. After the lava we have the pupa and then after the pupa we have the fully fleshed adult amen then we come to the next word image setswano we remember in genesis chapter 1 verse 26 god said let us make men in our image according to our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea over the birds of the air over the beasts of the field and over everything that creeps on the face of the earth Modimo statile kai ka image o statile ka character ha stata ka dominion dominion followed character the image of god in man however we know that through sin the image of god in man was tainted and hence man had to be driven out of the garden of eden and the tree that that, that, that is the tree of, the, of, of, of life had to be guarded by angels so that man must not eat of that tree and live in sin forever. But God had a plan even from eternity that Jesus should come and redeem us from sin. Image is a likeness of an object produced in a photographic material. The optical counterpart of an object so image is nothing else but likeness. I remember a story in the book of John where Philip asked Jesus, 
Murana Jesu reboni unta matimona mo bato. Ha fela o karibon sarara. If you could only show us the Father, then that would be sufficient. But Rana Jesu responded by saying, Philip, have you been with me for all this time? Don't you know who I am? He who has seen me has seen the Father. Jesus says, the Father and I are one. Then we come to the word Christ. Christ is not the surname of Jesus. But Christ means the anointed one. We are called Christians. We are the little anointed ones because the Spirit of God is in us and is also upon us. We have been anointed with oil. We are told that in the Middle East, the shepherds thereof use anointing oil upon their sheep before they can take the sheep to go for pasture. They anoint their heads with oil so that the little bugs that trouble the sheep should not be able to do so. So, in the same way, we are anointed by God through the Holy Spirit so that the devils that are troubling people should not have a free way in our lives. Okay. Now, to give you a background of this word, the book of Hebrews does not have a specific author we have the the scholars they have some have said this book was written by barnabas some by priscilla Babang, mang, 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 mang. however when you look at the book it has no salutation even the greetings that we know paul starts with a salutation there is no salutation he goes straight into the word because this man or this woman had wanted to stop something that was destructive in the lives of the Hebrews who were born again during the first century. Now, Judaism was regarded as a legitimate religion of the day. Now we know that the, 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 the Roman emperor or the Roman government was the one which was controlling at that time. And they regarded Judaism as the only religion to be observed by the people of Israel at that time. However, because of the work of our Lord Jesus Christ, people were saved. People were delivered. People now were confessing that they are Christians and that this religion or this, uh, this faith is better than the other faiths. So now then, because of the fact that this religion was termed to be illegitimate, the people were being persecuted. And some of the people had wanted to revert back to Judaism. Now, the writer of the book wants to encourage them to hold on to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. That Jesus is the superior one. He's trying to say that in this book. That Jesus is preeminent. He has the highest position in everything that has to do with the church. So we see uh, in the book of Acts that Stephen is one of the people, one of the disciples of Jesus Christ who was martyred for his faith. He was stoned to death. However, when he was being stoned to death, he prayed and said, Mudimo, let the sin not be counted against these people. Forgiveness is one of the pillars of Christianity. We cannot live without forgiveness. The Bible says, pursue peace with all men and holiness without which no man will see the Lord. Who will make it to heaven if we are not going to live peaceably with our neighbors? If we are not going to live peaceably with our co-workers? There is no way. We have to pursue it. 
You go after peace. Even when it does, that person does not deserve it. It is our duty. It is incumbent upon us to see to it that we make an appointment. We fix this matter and we are at peace. When Jesus comes, he will be coming for people who are like him. Because and all that, but Jaiva and all that. No, he's coming for people who bear his image. Amen. Now, Bible Saule, who later became Paul after conversion, he was holding on to the clothes of those who were stoning Stephen to death. I believe that Paul heard the prayer of Stephen and it touched his life. The author uses every appeal to keep the, these people in Christ. The theme of the book is Jesus is the full and the final and the, the best expression of God in history. And the sub-theme of this book is that Jesus is better. There was a comparison that he was making because he was comparing Jesus with, with Moses, with Aaron, with Samuel, with all, several people that came before Jesus. Now the author is emphasizing the fact that we have the best of God who is Jesus Christ, the author and the finisher of our faith. Chapter 1 verse 4, Jesus is better than the angels. Chapter 3, verse 1 to 3, Jesus is better than Moses. Chapter 4, verse 1 to 13, Jesus is better than Joshua. Jesus is better than Abraham. Chapter 6, verse 13, Jesus is better than the sacrifices. Chapter 10, verse 4. Let's look at this scripture once again. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 to verse 3. God. The very title of the, the word God means the self-existent one. God is the eternal substance who manifests himself in three persons of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. This triune God, he, he has three persons, yet he's one. Behold, O Israel, the Lord your God is one. So behold, church, you, the Lord, your God, is one. It continues to say, who at various times, God administered the lives of people here on earth according to certain periods of times. And these periods of times, God was using prophets. God was using churches. He brought Moses to deliver Israelites from Egyptian bondage. One of the questions that Moses asked was, Lord, if I go to Pharaoh and he asks me, who has sent me? What will I say? The response was, say, I am has sent you. When Jesus came to planet Earth, one of the words that he spoke in Rome, in John chapter 8, verse 12, he said, I am the light of the world. Somewhere he said, I am the bread of life. The Gospels present Jesus in the first person singular. He says, I am the very one that Moses spoke about. The prophet that Moses said was coming. I am the fulfillment of that prophecy. So he is the one who bears the image of God. The character of God is seen in Jesus Christ. That is why John the Baptist when he saw Jesus coming to be baptized, he said, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Men, prophets, were pointing to him. Jesus is the fulfillment of the prophetic word. We have the best of God today as Ribuwa saw. Amen, Ibasalwa. Because of time, some of the things. Jesus is the son of God. God spoke in various ways, as, I, as we said earlier on. 
Jesus is the express image of God's glory. The word express means to make known the opinion of feelings of something. So Jesus is the one who came to tell us, to make us aware of who God is, the character of God. Earlier on in the first service, we said that the character of God is seen in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, where the Bible tells us the character of love. That love is kind and suffers long. Love is not rude. Momo has been shed abroad in his heart or in her heart. Heart ma yaruha na modi taxi. Momo o conscious of what he or she is carrying on the inside. The Bible says that our bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit. The temple of God. Being children of God, we need to take cognizance of what the Lord has done in our lives. And what God is going to do in the future through us. We will be uh, coming to 2021. What kind of Christians are we going to be in 2021? Are we going to go back? To where we come from. Or we'll continue walking with God by faith. That is the question. What part am I going to play? Am I going to deny Jesus when persecution comes my way? Denying the Lord who bought us with his precious blood. Barcelona, we are speaking this word so that we could be conscientized of the times we are living in. Reabona what is happening. Reabona the persecution. Reabona the persecution. However, we need to stand on the faith. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. We walk by faith, not by sight. There are basic things that we need to continue living by. Prayer. Let's invite the Holy Spirit when we pray. Let's invite the Holy Spirit when we read the word. Let us meditate on the word of God. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. What is this book of the law? Shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, so that you may be able to do according to all that is written in it. Then you will have good success. The people who have been through persecution, go about Egypt, go about China, they say their success is to suffer for Jesus' sake. Na kibona success ili nkwe kholo ili kholo ya majaba jaba ki kente di sutu ki brekela basalwane kibona ili success eo. But true Christianity, it is success is suffering for the Messiah, the very one who bled for me. Bible ir morana Jesus ni bamo beta his visage his countenance his face was mad beyond all men kuruna sa bonale le hore ke ngwana ma not a ridi bona mo matlong a rona bazalwane o Jesus wa pereng le leiri ha se ene o una sa bonale hore ke mang you could not recognize him hore ke Jesus for the sake of man, yeah, Kaliwena. By the Mamu Kumula, they pulled, they plucked out his beard. Madia Toluha. Bamu Rasa Serralo, Sami Bito, a crown of thorns. Madia Toluha. Hurinaki from the kingdom of slavery, Kikana into royalty. First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. We are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. His Holy nation. Amen, Barcelona. I hope we are still together as I'm about to close. 
We need to be humble. We need to acknowledge authority. Everywhere. Because language. We English the way Runari language, anything. This place belongs to Jesus and no one else. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to sometimes put aside our rights. How ruhiwa uskewa busakatapa. If that is the case, you still need to be delivered from the tapa. Modimo deliverili. Giliso, God has worked in my life and continues to work in my life. Bible iruwa moving from one level of glory to another. Opulusitu kajeno kausani. Utabule moto different. But ubata babutar. Kiena ole na. Iti tikie. Bar kiena ole. Ule bam chapa kapotula bir. Kiena o. All right. Mili. How will anything? What has happened in the inside is very important. We give God all the praise and the glory for the character of Jesus Christ, which is the image of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for yet another opportunity to speak your word. We give you all the praise and the glory. Maybe you are passing by. Maybe God has a, an appointment. He wants to change your destiny. Now, today, rather have an opportunity. Now, how Jesu? A new thing takes place. You become a new creation. If we have somebody like that, I can see your hand, my brother. And now, Uteng Wamong, Wara Tango Majeso, Waba Tango Pilo Bahabu Chenche. I see your hand, Uncle. Do we have any other person? While in Hor, Uba Tabu Pilo Bahabu Petlekimudi, it's a Murut, Muruti Hana Bupilo, Waka Bufam Omo. It's only Jesus who saves us. Please stand up. Kupaleme Kamauto. Your puzzles, whatever you have, and come to the front. It's an assurance that comes from the written word of God. Now, please pray this prayer after me with the church helping us to pray. Lamorena Warona Jesu Christ Ria rapela ntate Ritwarele Dibitaru Rie 
Ete Babang Baba na bahaw Ngola Mabito Arun Buke Yako Nyana Yabo Pil Kinehela Piluyaka Moya Wak Limile Wak Kalipito La Jesu Christ Wa Nazareth Amen for my two brothers who have come to receive Jesus on this day. We give you all the praise, we give you all the glory. Your word says that the angels in heaven rejoice over one man who gets saved. We bless your holy name in Jesus' mighty name. From this step onward, may you follow them up, my Lord, by your spirit. Give them no rest. Let them pray. Let them study the word and grow my Lord, through the milk of the word, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen.